This is the 2022 range of uh, motorhomes from Adria. Adria also makes camper vans and other recreational vehicles. And uh, I'm just going to show you in this video around their camp uh, motorhomes. This thing here, Sonic Supreme 700 SL, costs 103,000 euros. Got a question? Does it come without this drop down bed at the front? Well, I'm sure if one asked them to, they'd take it out. Whether or not they uh, give you any discount for that is, uh, remains to be seen. I, they might even say, hey, you want some cabinets? That's extra. And uh, right, so but it looks relatively nice. This is more or less the top of the Adria range. And uh, got here um, storage and in the steps as well. There's oh, the storage there. And it's nice. That comes up quite nicely. There's the German layout comes out like that. That will hide the fact that the door's broken there. And uh, this will then go in like that. There we go. So there you see how the German layout works in here. Uh, there's the toilet. And there's the skylight. Ah, no, it's quite a good shower. It's got proper drainage holes. And let's see if I can get into it without any problems. And there I am, just put myself into it quite nicely. Sort my hair out there. Yeah, definitely okay. So I can now continue. Note my nice new t-shirt. Zimna Woda campsite at Bydgoszcz, Poland. A great campsite to visit, in my opinion, because... Uh, um, wonderful sunsets there on the canal which is uh, behind it and you can get in boats and sort of uh, uh, go on the kayak, start off a kayaking place. Anyway, you can see the video on Jim Nevada in a, once I've done it, different video. This comes with a, an oven. I need to point out that when people say, does it come with an oven? Well, the answer to that is there are plenty of ovens in the shops. And if you uh, ask Thetford to supply you with an oven, they'd be more than happy to do so. And if you asked your dealer, if he'd be, or she, uh, would be happy about inst installing it, then certainly they would be happy to install it. So there's the answer. Does it come with an oven? Yeah, it will do once you've actually installed it. Uh, here we have, just lifted the underfloor up to show you the double floor. And it's uh, uh, not warm. Uh, right, good, there's the first one. Now uh, they've got these two uh, showpiece ones here. Uh, uh, we'll go into the second showpiece one here. This is the Sonic Plus 700 SL, costs 91,000 euros. And uh, this has also got the bed up there. Uh, got a rather, oh, exclusive look in here. And let's come to the back, we can see the uh the german layout in here as well and it's got the same toilet and the same shower that looks quite nice now the thing for 2020 is having two um hobs this has got three so you want to might want to keep that one to yourself if anybody sees it on the campsite Right, so there's the two stars for this year. Now, this last year at Caravan Salon, uh, Adria showed the Indus uh, system from Thetford in one of their vehicles. It was up here. This year, there isn't an Indus system. That isn't because Adria's given it up. It's because they didn't have a vehicle to bring here. This is a Coral all in 650DL, cost 62,000.
So I'm looking now at the coral, I'll let the lady talk. A coral range. Now one thing I would like to point out though are those wonderful panoramic uh, roof lights at the top. Fridge is the same as in everything. And now the public shall be swarming in here before long. So I'm going to try and get in as many vehicles as possible. Now, uh, according to the um, organisers of Caravan, so the Dusseldorf Trade Fair, you know, you're supposed to be filming when people are around. Uh, yesterday I was stopped from coming in uh, whilst it was empty. 90,000 Cold Supreme 670DL. Aha, somebody said, there, yeah, can you get rid of the bed? Although it was in the Sonic. So that is a little bit of a difficulty I have. I'm trying my best to bring you the news and in a way I'm sort of promoting these these companies well, to a large extent. I'm, I'm certainly promoting the, the way of life. I mean, I do say if a van's a load of rubbish, I will say it's a load of rubbish. But uh, as you may have noticed, so I can't say I'm necessarily promoting vans, but uh, I'm definitely promoting van life and I think I'm giving some valuable uh, information about what to buy. So the fact that the Messer Dusseldorf should try and sabotage its own business is beyond me. This is what I call the arrogance of success. I wouldn't come here if there were an alternative because of the way you get treated. After last year, which was absolutely, everything was so nice. This year, we've gone back to normal with the arrogance and the couldn't care less attitude. Matrix all in, 600 SL, 60, over 62,000. This vehicle is seven meters long and you can put it on a four ton basis, should you wish. It's got a bed up there. It's got a kitchen in here. And this kitchen has got the trendy two burners that is all the rage in 20. 21. Notice the rear is above all in the German layout. That's clearly looking at the market here. What's this funny thing here? It's a false wall. The false wall will come out and to reveal the toilet. There is a light in here somewhere and it's not on because I didn't turn it on. There you go. That's just to prove there's a light in here. Um, next one here is the Adria Supreme 670 SL at a price of 90,000 uh, euros at a length of, what's the length, I've forgotten, 749. And this one comes with an oven and uh, steps up. Very similar, no? Very similar. Much of a muchness. And nice shower. I can hear water. Maybe it's raining outside and it's leaking in into the into the hall. And uh, right, I'm going to now walk around here. To show you these ones the coral xl a big over cab there now it will add more to your fuel costs all right and seventy five and a half thousand euros coral xl plus 670 sl it is 739 centimeters long but what it does have i think thanks to this enormous over cab and notice the window above and the windows at either side it's and also notice how the windows are slanted that is unusual and i think it certainly has um an effect to uh, 
maybe even create more light, but certainly dif differentiation. This goes up really easily like that, allowing you to sit around the table with, without banging your head when you stand up, unless you're particularly tall. They try to use that space uh, up there, which many manufacturers is just dead space. I mean, it's still not there. It needs something to stop stuff falling out, but you know, you can stick some sheeting or something in the, or, or, or pillows or, or whatever that uh, even if it does fall out, it doesn't make much difference. And uh, that would work. Uh, you've got uh, very nice lockers, you've got a very wide range there, hobs, and uh, sink as well is uh, a more quality one. This one comes with the option of a of an oven it is an option which you can take on any van you want even if you buy a 1964 Volkswagen uh, camper van you can opt to put an oven in it almost certainly uh, German layout once more uh, toilets and shower but I want to show another thing. I've got that that's closed. We've got these room dividers here. It's made out of this cloth material. Uh, personally, I prefer that to the uh, slidey ones. It weighs a fraction of what the slidey well, slidey ones don't weigh much anyway. But that weighs even less, and I think it's uh, it's much e easier to maintain. Fridge is the same as in all the others. So that, uh, that I think is a well thought out van. Not my favourite brand. Oops, I just turned the light off. Didn't mean to do that. They were all on. But uh, I think that's a very well thought out uh, vehicle. Uh, right, so we'll come to this Coral XL now. It's also got this large over cab with a, uh, a panoramic roof light, so that should keep, keep or make it less stuffy. And in fact, I don't think it would get stuffy. Because so much air could be uh, coming in there. This thing, Coral XL, all in 600 dp, uh, 60 and a half thousand euros. Uh, so the price is much less. It's not anywhere near as flash as the other one, but uh, it does cost 30,000 euros less. Uh, you can make a bed here. You can get a bed up there. And you can make a bed at the back. So I think effectively it sleeps like with, I think it's got four belted positions. We'll check that one. There might be six belted positions. I mean, logically, it must have six belted positions. Right, good bed at the back, like that. I like the steps up, and uh, you can put the bed up and go up even further. There's a wheel. You'll find four more wheels on the sides of the vehicle, two on each side, uh, two at the back and two at the front. Always check that your motorhome's got wheels on it because if it, if it, it doesn't, you're not really going to go very far. You hear all the best advice on this channel. And, uh, oh dear, I'm gonna put this, oh, there we go. Enormous shower in here. I wanna get in the shower just to demonstrate how big it is. Look at that space there. Look, that's enormous, really. Oops. This is just, no, it hasn't broken. It's just, sorry, I, haven't, I didn't break it. It's meant to come off. All right, so you can put your socks there and your underpants. Uh, how do you get to the toilet? Well, you've got to do, you sort of open it up like that, you see, and then you sort of uh, aim uh, accordingly. No, that was wrong. You put that to one side and that goes up there like that. And that goes there and locks it in position. Alternatively, you could try the first way. That's, that's probably what you'll do anyway. All right, so now coming out. Well, I'm gonna say the six belted positions in here uh, of the people standing here, so I'll walk past them. 
right and that vehicle is seven meters in length which i think i said is a better look at the crank to crank up the uh, bed at the back and that is adria coral and sonic and matrix motorhomes there's another uh, range of motorhomes here but i'm going to walk right down to them right now and we'll have a quick look at them from the outside hoping that too many people aren't here so there's your hmm, choice of textiles the interior and right so they're the more expensive vans uh, and I'm not suggesting that paying 50,000, 55,000 or whatever this thing here costs, Matrix Plus 600 DT is cheap, and it's, but it isn't, it's 72,000, 73,000. Uh, but uh, right, um, what, what this has got is an enormous table. It's got this bed up here, which will come down. And as you move to the back, you've got this rear washroom. And in here, you've got a huge amount of space, right? A huge amount of storage space in the back. And we're not finished yet with the storage space. This is absolutely a dressing room. It looks very good. You can have a peek at what's in, you can keep, uh, count the shower, check your bikes are still here. You might need that if you park in Newcastle, for example. And shower, proper drainage. Look at all this space in here, that's great. All this space. Wonderful. This vehicle is a table carrier, but other than a table, it's got this wonderful, really quite, quite brilliant. Two person van and okay, let's hope that this works correctly in view of the fact that our people coming in and out now, I wouldn't try, even if I had the key, I wouldn't actually try in these circumstances. So, uh, now let's come on to the cheaper vans, such as the Compact, which is uh, it's shorter, it's narrower, it's not as flash, and it costs here 57,000 euros, and it's 679 centimeters in length. All this... Uh, light streaming in you've got the no longer trendy three hobs and a german layout at the back also got one of these uh false walls comes over to reveal the shower and if you've been watching any of my videos in the past you'll know I don't like them, but what I do like is a nice sliding door. Even though I do accept it may be difficult to clean it in the shower. Here's a, another one in this series. It is compact and this uh, costs 73,138. And this Compact Supreme DL, this is a vehicle which is, 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 it got, is, I've lost the, I've lost it, I've lost it. Uh, 600, 600, uh, oh, there we go, seven meter long. But we're not getting in that because uh, something's in there. And of course, as I already stated earlier, um, according to Messer Dusseldorf, then whereas you can't go into the van when there's people in it who don't, you don't live with, you are not allowed to film until people actually get there. I haven't quite understand so the logic to that, but there may be yet somebody who can explain it to me. Right, so what I have, what we have here now, we've got some camper vans. I've done this in a separate video, the uh, camper vans from Adria. And we also have now caravans as well, which are on the other side. Take you over there, see the caravans on the other side and back up here. So that is more or less the range 
of motorhomes from Adria for 2022. Uh, you can see here, you heard the uh, announcement that the trade fair was open and so people are getting in, but not so many have got in yet. So, uh, and you've got this sort of area here where you, if you want to buy one, you can get, you get a cup of coffee. You just pretend you want to buy one, then they'll give you a cup of coffee. You see? Definitely worth paying the 15 euros or whatever it costs to get in to get your free cup of coffee, isn't it, really? Uh, so, that's it. I'm going to take you back to up here. Meet the new generation Alpina, Sonic Supreme, Sonic Plus of motorhomes and so we'll come back now to their star vehicle here you are sonic supreme and we'll finish off here thanks very much for watching i hope you found that of interest and if you didn't well not much i can do about it now because i've finished it and i'm not going to do it again what i might do again however is if you write down below what you want to see in more detail and i'll do it if i can can't say no to that. And if it's not done here at Dusseldorf, it'll be done at Stuttgart. Yeah. Thanks for watching.